So here's the list of things you definitely need before you're starting using AR. Number one, make sure you've got the latest version of the Mirami. The one which is included inside the package is v11.1.51. So please use this version or anything above that and you will be absolutely fine. Second thing, make sure you've got the Brio. From our experience, the Brio works best in terms of the lighting, but the most important, you can use any other webcam, but the most important is to have a control. So the Logitech Brio will allow you to control the autofocus, white balance, or any other camera settings, which will allow you to match the shot with the center. Third thing is to, I highly recommend to use a magic arm. So with this magic arm, you can mount your webcam into any Photomaster product. And this will allow you to actually change the tilt or move it around and make sure everything is in the right spot. And the fourth one, I would highly recommend to use a black matte tape. So this is really crucial because the Brio is really shiny and you, can, you need to remove the shine in order not to have any reflection on your final shot. So that's a list of four things you definitely need for using AR. Once you have the AR Santa installed onto your computer, now the first thing you need to do is go into the software and again, Mirami V11 is included, dot .51. Second thing, if you never used the Brio before, just make sure you've got the Logitech camera settings installed. And for those who are going to use a backhand AI removal, here's also all the installers you need to make it work. Today, I will show you how to really easily install all the devices for your Santa AR. So at first of all, you need the Brio, you need Magic Arm, and also black matte tape. Okay, so on this on this Brio, as you can see, I've covered the LED down here, as well as I create a small circle open up for, for the lens. So the reason why we did this, because the Brio surface is really shiny. So any light uh, shining on top of the Brio will reflect within your photo, and then you might get like a weird reflection on your screen. So at first of all, just get any black matte tape. You can use the gaffer tape. You can use uh, um, any electrical tape, but you need to be with a matte finish. And then just cover the top part of the Brio and make sure any other side is also covered properly too. So the second thing is the magic arm. So this is called magic arm because it's so magical and you can move it all the way around into different directions. And the simple solution, simple idea behind this is basically on the Brio, you've got the holder, the plastic holder. Just pull it off, pull it apart, and then just screw your Brio on top of the magic arm. So you will get this kind of device, okay? This will allow you to install your Brio with a magic arm easily into your photo booth. Otherwise, when people tried it before with different duct tape, it doesn't look so good, but this will allow you to actually move it around and place it into the right place. So once you've got your magic arm and the Brio done. Now I'll use a USB. When you plug in your Brio into your computer, just make sure you're using the USB free. How can you find the USB free? Usually it's a blue color. So just make sure you've got the blue color on your lead, which normally comes with the Brio, as well as a blue USB port on your computer. Okay, so at first of all, you need to plug in your USB into the computer. And now for Mirami users, this is how I, how I would install it. So use the magic arm and place the Brio as close as possible to your DSLR, okay? So I'll place it on the right hand side. I test it on the right hand side, so probably that'll be the easiest way. And then put your clamp here On the right hand side and secure it okay once it's secured then with the middle middle adjustment again just make sure the brio is close as is as close as possible to your dslr but also bear in mind the brio needs to be in a certain angle so what I'm trying to achieve now, top of the Brio needs to be touching your glass, but the bottom part will have 
roughly two inches gap. So basically the camera is pointing down and you're gonna see yourself in a full screen. So I'll tie the screw and now Brio is perfectly secure and you can keep the Brio inside and you won't have any problems. Once it's done, let's jump in onto your computer and let's use the Logitech software camera to access your webcam. So on the desktop, you should be able to see the Logitech camera settings. Double click to open it. And now when you look at the preview, you should have similar amount of space above and below. Okay. So the easiest way for you to line up the camera with a webcam is to open a Logitech as well as an EOS utility. And this will allow you to uh, match the shots between a DSLR and a webcam. So I'll just go to remote shooting. We've got separate tutorial how to use an EOS utility, um, but it's really, really simple and super useful tool to use it. Do one test shot. So, unfortunately, I can rotate the Logitech preview, but roughly you can see my lens on the DSLR is on 80 millimeter. That's the widest angle you can actually get on your camera. And roughly, now when I'm standing in a certain position, three, two, one, roughly you've got similar space between your feet and the bottom edge as well as the top. So, when you're actually standing, on um, between the mirror and you should you should have a space roughly six feet or 1.8 meters and this will be perfect spot for you to actually guide people uh, guide people right after you change the position of the webcam now let's go to the workflow and test it so i just pick one see the center size is perfect he's standing right next to me the crucial part is to make sure the feet are in the same position and then I'll go through troubleshooting to show you in the case something doesn't work well. So as you can see, again, Santa on the final preview works well, the same size. But if you need to change some kind of adjustment in terms of size or position, I will show you now how to do it. So first question I'm getting asked really uh, often is what if my feet are not in the right place? So all you need to do is two things. We're actually dealing with the webcam and the DSLR. So the first one, if your feet is not in the right position, again, I'm roughly standing six feet away from the mirror, that will apply for, for Mirror X, for Mirror Me, or for any other Photomaster mirror. Um, so distance is crucial. And then just, just mark a space, a place on the floor to make sure people are gonna know where to stand. Second thing, if the feet are not in the same position, and let's say they're too high, then all you need to do is tilt the webcam down. So you've got two things. One is the preview, where we're using the Brio for the live view. And the second thing is the SLR. So when your feet are not in the right position in the live view, just make sure uh, the camera is in the right position. But the easiest way is to have a DSLR uh, via EOS utility, as well as a Logitech camera open at the same time, so you can match the shot perfectly. But let me just make small uh, imperfections just to show you how to easily correct it. So if you install the camera, the webcam, and you slide it off, and for example the DSLR is not in a it's not on a wide angle lens, this is how it's going to look like. And again the troubleshooting is really easy. So let me just randomly start the workflow. Now, again, I'm standing six feet away. Well, suddenly Santa is just way higher than me and I'm, I'm so small, right? So again, this is the preview where you need to tilt the webcam down and make sure the feet are actually matching the position of the Santa. And second thing, when you look at the Santa on this final shot, hey, he's really small and I'm too big. What do you need to do? You need to zoom it out and to 80 millimeter on, the, on your lens. So let me show you, so if you can follow me, please. So the lens, I can just put a little bit more light here. Lens has the numbers from ranging from 18 to 55. Can you see the numbers? Nobody can see their numbers, George. Okay. So basically... You just took the phone out of the road. 
Yeah, if you can go a little bit closer, the number from 1855, so you need to go to 80 millimeters to get as wide a shot as possible. Now, because I was um, quite high, uh, Santa was quite high and I was too small, all you need to do, because he's on magic arm, just tilt your webcam, your brio slightly down, and that'll fix the problem. Okay, so let's go back into the mermaid. Restart the workflow. And if you do this a couple times, and again, Santa is almost in the perfect spot, I'll probably slightly tilt it up and then everything will be great. So let's see the final preview. And this one is great. Okay, so again, if the position, now we're creating just the illusion between you standing um, next to the Santa. So the illusion can be created when you've got the webcam and DSL in the right spot. If you've got these problems, again, just play around with the tilt of the webcam and the zoom of your DSL line, you'll be fine. The next common thing is when on the live view, A, the live view doesn't look so good. So currently we're using a line here. I recommend to use LED panels, but you can use any other dish, any other light you actually have. When using the Brio webcam, in most of the cases actually work with the normal lighting, but the normal lighting might reflect on the mirror and you might get like a weird reflection. So again, just make sure you've got a control environment and the lighting is good. So the second thing is when the live view doesn't look so good. So let's say you're too yellow or a different color. So if you're gonna go to Logitech camera settings, go to advanced, you can change the brightness, contrast, intensity. But I wanna talk about the focus because that's the most common problem. Let's say if I'm out of the frame, now the webcam is trying to focus on the background and sometimes you might not be really sharp. So again, the same thing what you need to do with the EOS can be done in Logitech camera settings, where standing in the right position, so six feet away, make sure the autofocus on, now the camera focusing on my body, turn it off, and now this is going to be distance where the camera is going to see me and the person standing here, and everything will be nice and sharp. The same thing for the control, just make sure if your skin doesn't look so good, just change your white balance from auto white balance to something which is suitable and matching your final image. Just play around with the settings, and make sure it's as close as possible. Again, the live view is mainly for people to know where to stand and get the full experience and kind of illusion the Santa is actually coming right next to them. Yep, so once again, the clamp is attached on the left-hand side to this metal part. Then the magic arm is going from left-hand side in the middle of your um, mirror X. So once it's installed, again, place your DSLR back into the place. The zoom needs to be on 80 millimeters. If you're using LED ring, you can still do it. And that's it. Just make sure everything is nice and secure. Even when you're transporting your mirror, everything uh, is in the same place. But again, before you even just test it a few times, if you need to adjust the camera, the same thing applies for the mirror me, for mirror X, or for any other photo master mirror. If the center is too big, you can just play around with the tilt and the same way with the DSLR, just make sure you've got the right zoom and the right angle. So that's it from me. Hopefully that you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.